Hey guys, it's Blue Poison 44 coming back with my first video actually, so not coming back. But yeah, I'm just gonna start making more videos. Uh, I'm into reptiles, as you can tell by my cage behind me. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna be showing you my collection and what I have, and how I'm just gonna be progressing through the year or through the couple more years after that of my collection of my snakes. Alright, so first let's start off with my, my let's see one sec. Sorry, with my three foot, three to four foot female ball python. Put this over here. Alright. So uh right here is my um rock, my little hide, which is getting a little too small, so I need to get a, that a bit bigger. And he's, I got him a little while ago, and he he's, was treated poorly by his uh, uh, his uh, previous owners. He likes to hiss a lot, but as you can see, he just shed, so he's healthy. He did it in a full shed, except for his head right here. Yeah, so I'm just going to beef him, get him a little beefed up. He's kind of a little skinny for his size, but just get him big. And, yeah. Um, by the way, I named him Zeus. And you'll see Zeus throughout all my videos. And I'll just make be keep him making collections. I'm hoping to get a nice red tail boa, which is Colombian, actually. But Or if you... Um, if you know what's better, Colombian or the uh, other one, Gaium or something, Gaium, then leave a comment below. Tell me which one you like better. Tell me which one's more tame or more beautiful or something like that. Yeah. So here's his enclosure. He's in a 20 gallon lawn, and I will show you his new his his uh, upsizing, which he's going to get an upsizing in a little bit because he's getting too big for the tank. But, and as, um, as you can tell, he's really pretty. He has a couple dark features and light features in his water bowl and lights and branches and little hideaways. So, that's him. His name is Zeus. So, Sorry for the transition, but we'll be coming over here into my room. He's just left out there because of my project, which just has silicone, which could get in the air or mess up his lungs or something. Well, I wouldn't know, but I'm just guessing. So in this tank, this is 10 gallon, 10 gallon breeder for um, 10 gallon breeder for. Uh, <laughs> Leopard geckos. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name there. Um, as they said, but could doubt that. But I just need to clean up their little poops. <laughs> All right, so here is my baby leopard gecko. He's just a normal. They're all normals. Everything I have is normal. I'm just starting off with a small collection. So, like to my hand, you can see he's a baby. Yeah, and he's been getting along well, eating well, doing well, and I'm thinking of putting some calcium powder because his bones don't look as strong as they should. Yeah, so anyway, that's him. Or here is my bigger one, which is getting bigger, and his tail is getting longer, not really fatter, but yeah. So he just went in his shed, finished shedding. He looks really nice, and as you can see, like you could see a comparison between these. This one's way bigger. Yeah, and this one's spotted, and as you can tell, that one is striped, which is beautiful. But they're both beautiful. I both love them. Get off my hand here. Oh, and his eyes are blue. His eyes are all blue. It's so pretty. Yeah, so, anyway, that's them in their enclosure. Uh, and I'd like to make a shout-out to um, 
my friend on YouTube, Hockey 90, Hockey 99 All Star. He's my friend that has come from, has go to my school, and he's really nice to me, and he's a really cool guy. He's not into reptiles, but he has a lot of cool videos. So go check his channel out. Leave it, and I'll leave it in the link below. Yeah, and I need to show you right here, which is my um. Yeah, he has pretty cool videos, and he has, he's just, he's always joyful about everything. It's just awesome. All right, so, um, right here is my 20 gallon tank, which is, which is um, a saltwater fish tank, which I have not filled and I have not gotten ready for fish yet, which I'm planning to do near this month or something. Uh, I'm wanting to get some nice fish, some beautiful fish from. Hawaii, the coral reefs, and all that good stuff. All right. So I've been working on a special project, which I have been work working on for a while. No, excuse me. Work working on for a while, and I've been putting all this stuff together, getting raising a lot of money for this. As you can see, I'm a child, so I'm a kid, so I don't make as much money. I get some babysitting jobs. This is really awesome. I love the kids. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so this project I've been working on for a while, and here it is. As you can see, it's big. I don't know if you can see, but right here is my pole, or my uh, lacrosse shaft, and this is about that compared to that, which is, this is not a D stick, this is not, this is just a small, regular attack stick, but... Yeah, yeah, and you're gonna probably say this is a sucky stick, but I have another stick with a swizzle beater and a proton power. And mm, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I've I put this all together, I cut this glass, which took so long. Like if you're gonna try this is plexiglass. I know you might say it's not it, people, snakes could probably get through this crack because it bends, but can't really get through this. Yeah, so um, open this up, basically sliding. And I'd like to make a shout out also to um, 951 ADG. I'll leave her channel below. I don't know her name right now, but yeah, she gave, like, inspired me to do this. She made a melamine enclosure, which is very nice and it's very nice of her to show her how she show people how she makes it and I got that idea of her and I have a little stuff change around I think this was a lot expensive and more expensive for me because I um, incorporated a lot of different stuff which yeah and this plexiglass is really thick and it was really expensive all right anyway and these channels were too um I would highly recommend people to make an enclosure like this. It is a wonderful enclosure. I, I love it, even though I haven't even put anything in it. But yeah, I made this. I actually am almost finished up. I'll probably finish up tonight. I just need to put border around here. And what I'm going to put in here is my Colombian red tail boa, which is going to be awesome. And it is four feet by two feet by two feet back. Yeah. Pretty spacey. Pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I just love it. It's awesome. Well, thanks. I'm going to go down and leave you some comments. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Blue Poison 44. Check it out.